Hey everybody, Mr. Gibson here. So for this explore activity, you guys are going to be recreating a pretty monumental experiment that helped us discover um, a lot about atoms. Um, and what it is, it took an older model of an atom and basically proved it wrong and gave us a slightly more modern model of the atom. Still not the one as, you know, intricate and complex as the one we use today, but a slightly more accurate one back in the day. So uh, let's take a look at what's going on in this assignment. It says J.J. Thompson believed the atom uh, looked like plum pudding, which is basically like a muffin with raisins in it, um, and named his model uh, the plum pudding model. Creative title there um, because he thought it looked like plum pudding. So we now know that this is not an accurate model of the atom. So he believed that like, so picture a muffin with raisins in it. He said that he didn't even know about protons yet. Um, he just, remember he discovered electrons. So he just knew about electrons and he said, so an atom is positively charged and that's like the muffin. And then you have these electrons floating around in there like the raisins in the, in the plum pudding. So uh, like we said, we, we know that's not accurate now. You guys can probably draw a more accurate model of an atom than what J.J. Thompson believed it looked like. Um, so this dude named Rutherford conducted an experiment to prove that atoms had a nucleus. So he was trying to uh, basically look at J.J. Thompson's model of the atom and test to see if it was reliable, and he found out that it wasn't. Um, he Spoilers, he discovered that atoms have a nucleus, and you guys know now that uh, the nucleus of atoms is made of protons, which are positive, and neutrons, which are neutral. So overall, the nucleus has a positive charge. Uh, what you guys are doing today is you're going to use a simulation to recreate Rutherford's experiment, the one that he used to figure this out. Um, so you're going to open this Cami. So he says open the attached PDF with Cami. And this is going to walk you through uh, basically everything you need to do. Okay, So you are going to create text boxes. And you can edit that, you can annotate this however you want to, but it gives you some information about Ernest Rutherford and his experiment called the gold foil experiment, okay? Um, a little bit about J.J. Thompson, and it's gonna show you how it would have looked with the plum pudding model versus how it actually looked when he conducted the experiment. Now, um, you don't just get have to use these pictures because these pictures are good, but they're not you know super great. You're gonna use an actual simulation. So what you guys are gonna do is you're going to click on that link. You're going to open this. You've already used this in your hook activity, same thing. Here's the plum pudding model. You can play with that again today if you want to and test JJ's theory, but uh, really this is going to have you use Rutherford's model of the atom, okay? Okay, so we've done that. And then you are going to click this. You're gonna let it run for a little while. Okay, you're gonna pause it. What I would recommend doing is turning on traces so that you can see the angles that the particles are going at, okay? And then you're gonna pause it. You're gonna go back here and you're gonna answer these questions like uh, the atom in the middle is made of protons. Uh, so this is gold. Um, I gave away a spoiler there. So there's a little treat if you're watching the video and you're just gonna type in again, text boxes here to answer the questions, okay? And then you've got a chart here, so you're gonna run a few trials where you're just clicking start and stop or pause and play uh, five different times, and you're going to um, estimate the degree um, and uh, at which they are being deflected at 90 degree angles. Remember, a 90 de degree angle is a right angle, so if it's like going straight and then gets deflected, like this is almost 90 degrees, right here not quite um, you just follow the instructions it'll walk you through it and then it's going to have you conduct your own little experiments here uh, and this is really cool because you guys are getting to do the exact experiment that Ernest Rutherford used uh, to discover that atoms even have nuclei you guys get to do that because we have access to this simulation so I think you guys will like this it shouldn't take you too terribly long to answer these um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to email me uh, or call me and I'll help you guys out. All right, guys, good luck. Hope this helps.